Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to our channel. Welcome friends, family, perfect strangers. This is a Dollar Tree haul for you all. That's right, Dollar Tree. Yes, the tree of many dollars as Lisa says from Lisa's hauls. So I'm gonna start, by the way, welcome friends, family, perfect strangers. I'm gonna start with the Christmas items because it's very few and I think maybe, no, there, I do have a few more pieces that I'll share with you, but not in this video. First and foremost, are you kidding me? I saw this and I thought it was so stinking cute. It is a Christmas card with these marshmallows. And it says, oh, what fun. I just thought that that was too stinking cute. And then when you open it up, it says, cheers to a magical season full of warm memories. I don't even think I got it to Mel. I just got it because it's just too stinking cute. So there's that. Then I picked up some treat bags. It's a 10 count. And these are actually the paper sack ones. Um, and it's got the little, little doggies and it says holly jolly. Have a holly jolly Christmas. And in case you didn't know. Oh my God, have a jolly, holly jolly Christmas this year. That is so stinking cute. They really are cute. So I got that. And then with the same, with this in mind, look. I picked up these giant gift sacks. And I want to say it's the same little animals. It is. Yes, it is the same little animals. I picked up two of them. The giant gift sacks. How do I know it's the same doggies? Look. Where'd he go? Oh, here he is. Here he is in the green sweater. There he is in the green sweater. And then this little dog that's standing right here is right here. So I picked up two of the giant sacks. Now, I'm going to tell you something about these giant sacks. Are they a great deal for $1.25? Absolutely. Are they gonna hide your Christmas gifts? Absolutely not, and I'm gonna tell you why. The plastic on them are super, super thin. So whatever you put in them, you can clearly just, if you just press it, you can read everything. So for instance, I think one year we put like something from Little Tykes in it. If you pushed down like that on the plastic, you could read Little Tykes, Cozy Car, whatever it was. You could see everything. So here's my recommendation. If, if you find one of these giant sacks that you like design-wise, get multiple and like put four on them. So is it cost efficient instead of going maybe to Hallmark or a different location, a different manufacturer and getting a thicker one and paying $5.95 or $6.95? I don't know. You be the judge. Also, another way that you can do it is maybe cover it with paper, like craft paper and then put it in this gift sack. Also, another thing about these gift sacks, I will tell you, be very careful. They tear very easily. So if you're putting something that is heavy or that has some weight to it, the corners will just rip these. But the designs are so stinking cute. I just picked up two of them. I have so many gift bags, so much tissue paper, so much bows, so much gift wrapping paper that I have no need for any of that, honestly. But those are just too stinking cute to pass up. Now, going with the Christmas theme as well, as you guys know, Wildfire, my middle daughter, absolutely loves books and wants to like have a collection of books for her son, my grandson. He's the newest addition, the youngest addition to the family. So I picked up these little books right here. The first one is Reindeer Play. Then there's Deck the Halls. I think something goes with this reindeer play because you can see the size is different. I think I'm missing one that goes with this. I didn't find it. This one is definitely just two. It is Decking the Halls and Christmas Sweet Treats. There's only two of these size. How do I know that? Shows it right there in the back. Oh, I love the gingerbreads. I just remembered what the front of that one looks like when I looked at it. So there's two of these. I'm sure I'm missing either one of these to make it a set of two, or maybe I'm missing three for a set of four. I don't know, but I got the reindeer play. Oh, deer, because you guys know I love deers. 
And then there was three, no, sorry, there was two in this little design right here where it's like shaped the book. And the first one is Reindeer Jolly Morning. Oh dear. And then List for Santa. So I picked up those two for him. Hard to tell if this is the only two because it doesn't say in the back. Then there was these two as well. And yeah, there's only two in this one as well. It's the Festive Yeti and then the Jolly Snowman. And it says Sparkle and Shine with them both. So there's only two. And this has this cutout to it. Not a lot of reading, okay? But again, I mean, he's a baby. So I'm just trying to build up his collection, his little book collection. And definitely, um, you know, Christmas books are always nice. And you see? So I'm missing a second one that goes with this. It was probably something having to do with Santa, but oh well. And I'm going to tell you something. There was a four different activity books with stickers that I looked everywhere for in my local Dollar Trees, and they were like gone, gone, gone. It's like some kind of activity book with stickers. They're so cute, and there's like four different ones that I wanted them so bad. But again, when you don't go often to the Dollar Tree, you miss... Hold, hold that thought. It's an ambulance. Say a little prayer, y'all. So close to the holidays, I, I hope that whoever's in that ambulance makes it. Okay, we're moving on. Um, at all of my Dollar Trees, like, there was probably maybe a handful of coloring books at one of them, but everything else had been cleared out. I was shocked to even find those little books. Um, so there's that. And then also in the way of Christmas items, I had seen these probably two months ago, but I didn't realize that this, this year's cobblestone, um, houses lit up. I didn't know that. So I went ahead and picked up the cobblestone candy. Is that the candy shop? I'll take you to the candy shop. i let you lick the lollipop. I know, it's a dirty one, but that's what came to my mind when I heard candy shop. And then there's the Cobblestone Cafe. Okay, and here's my intention on these, okay? Not keeping them as is. I'm gonna spray paint them with like, a, maybe like a chalkboard kind of paint, um, or maybe like a soft pastel pink, and then, um, I don't know what this is. Maybe the firehouse? Fire station. Um, and then decorate them that way. And I only, I could have, I should have picked up more than just the one set because people that I've seen decorating with them have multiple of them. And then they spray paint them and then they put them on display. On display, on display, on display. And then I got the church. Hold on, let me hold it from the bottom. Who wanted it? I, I was doing really good balancing them. Hold on. We can we can do this, ladies and gentlemen. We can do this. So there's those three, and then we have the church. So that's my intention with these, is that I'm going to spray paint them to make them more like of a neutral instead of these, the colorings that they have on them. And if they're still around, if I make another trip and there's still any of them left, because I saw them a month ago and I didn't realize that they lit up and then I I'd passed on them and I hadn't seen them since. And then I'd seen all these people doing these great DIYs on them and I'm like, ah, and I didn't get them, but whatever, they'll come back next year. Um, and then at this store, they had plenty of them, but a lot of them were broke. Like the roofs were coming off of them and stuff. So I picked the best ones that I could find. So next year, if they come out again, I'll try to, you know, get a set and just kind of add as we go. So there's that. Next up, I found a dry brush and then it says that it helps to exfoliate skin and boost circulation, face and body. Now, all of a sudden I've been hearing this huge craze of dry brushing your body 
and that you're supposed to stroke up. Oh, by the way, there's my burn update. Two days out now. We're, two, we're day two. Does it hurt? As long as I don't touch it, as long as I don't have a sheet laying on it, if I don't put clothing on it, we're good. But there's day two, in case you're wondering what it looks like day two. Um, but this brush is so small that I don't think this is good for entire body. But since it is a dry brush, I thought I would do the start, you know, use this for the face. If you're not familiar with dry brushing, look it up. It is to help with circulation and all that good stuff, and it's supposed to be good for you. Maybe it's just a phobia. I mean, phobia. Maybe it's just a wife, a new old wives' tell. Maybe it's all bullshit. I don't know. But I mean, anything that we can do to kind of help ourselves, I I say let's do it. I picked up three of these ceramic. Be careful, they are breakable. Magnets. They had several. I only picked up the three. I picked this first one that says choose kindness because what do I tell you all all the time? It costs zero dollars to be kind. Correct. So just be kind. You never know what somebody's going through. You never know what's going on in their lives. You never know what kind of... Just be kind. Next one, choose joy with those beautiful flowers. Choose joy. And then the last one I picked up was this grow. And I love that little like floral wreath that makes the O. So I got that. Then I picked up a hair clip it's one of the big ones because what I was thinking is that instead of the two small ones, I would do the big one and then just pull it back this way and put the clip. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let's just try it, shall we? Oh, it's taped. Now I just made a mess of my hair too. Talk amongst yourselves, ladies and gentlemen, while I get this clip off. They've gotten smart with the people that walk off with things and they, they taped it. I just broke it. I just, I just broke it because it is taped and I can't get the tape off. I'm sure I can glue it back, right? Hold on. That was dumb, right? I don't even know how it goes on there. Oh, it just slides in there. Hold on, hold on. You go in here, no? And here. Now I'm not going to be able to glue it because you have to tuck it into this plastic here and then the bottom half goes in the plastic too. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. I might have figured it out. Hold on. Fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen. Fingers crossed. Another blooper, ladies and gentlemen. Another blooper. Man, that is hurting my finger. No, I didn't get it in there. Bullshit. Did I? Yeah, it's just, look, it just fits in there loose. My gosh, I look like Jim Carrey. Okay, so let's say that I do a brush like this, right? Put this down. Put this down. Take this giant clip. And clip it there. I don't, I don't like it. It's just going to have to grow out. I'm just going to have to learn to deal with it. It is what it is. Don't look at my hair. Let's move on. Next up. This is new. Now, you guys know that I found from Be Pure this, uh, it's like for my generation, like, you know, ladies of 40s and 50s. Um, I can't remember what it was called, but there was different things that I found. Now I found this from Be Pure. It's a concentrated facial serum and it says, help skin appear brighter, easily applies to your skin, helps dark spots appear less noticeable and aids to moisture skin. And it says that there's a 10 count in here. So I thought you and I would open this together and let's see what it is. Like, let's explore what this is. And guess what? This was thrown there. Oh, it's leaking. It's leaking. What is this? Hmm. 
What? Y'all clearly say that it, see that it says 10 count, right? Look at this. Oh, I understand what it was. There was 10 of those beads in there and somebody popped them all. Is that what it is? They were, I now, okay. When I first saw this, I thought it was a compact. And it had like the 10 little pods in here. But what it is is that somebody went and pressed and popped all of those. So yeah, I'll be returning that. That's exactly what that is. I thought I had found something new and exciting. Exciting and new. Come aboard. Well, that's a... So I'll be returning that crap for sure because it's all over the packaging. So there's that. Picked up another bottle of the LA's Totally Awesome All-Purpose Concentrate Cleaner. It's a degreaser. It does a lot of things. I highly recommend this. And even though LA's Totally Awesome brand is mostly at Dollar General and Dollar Tree and Family Dollar, LA's Totally Awesome is an awesome, pun intended, brand. It really is. The items work very well. So feel like you can trust them, okay? Because you can. Next up. I got these little um, notepads. This first one is a gift. It's I am not responsible for anything I say before coffee. I don't drink coffee. Just on rare occasions. Really rare occasions. And you're going to see in a minute. I'm going to share that rare occasion with you. And then it says the same thing inside. And then it's got like your line pad. This next one. Be the person your dog thinks you are. Seriously, do that, okay? Because your dogs think the world of you. So try to be that person. And it's on the both sides, front and back, the same. So there's that one. And then this one, this one, if this isn't the definition of me on a notepad, I don't know. And there's another one over here I'll share with you. Not a notepad, something else. Yes, I know guac is extra, but so am I. Now, I don't eat guacamole at all. I, guacamole is not my thing. It's not my jam. I don't eat avocados, period, zero, zero, zero. But I am extra, so I thought that was cool. So I picked up not only one, but I picked up two of those because I got one for wildfire as well. So there's that. Then I picked up two of the 2023 calendars. These are the 16-month wall calendars. The first one I picked for obvious reasons. It's going to be mine. I'm going to put this in the office. It's going to be mine. Um, is the Sesame Street. And I'll show you the months on the back. There you go. Bet you anything the space one is August. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. It is September, October, November, December. The space one is August. Isn't that perfect for me? Yeah. No, not because I'm a space head. Because I love space. And then I picked up this one for my son-in-law. This one is Pets Rock. He loves artwork like this. Like he collects artwork like this and puts it in his bathroom. He has his own bathroom separate from wildfire. And so when I saw this, I was like, oh yeah, got to get that for him for his office. So picked up that for my son-in-law. Then I picked up these cute little pieces of decorative decor. I thought maybe for the granddaughter's room. If not, I'll put them somewhere. I'll find something to do with them. This first one says... Hello, llama. And it's like a shadow box and it's got the pom-poms, the little mini pom-poms in them. Hello, llama. And these have been out before, but I didn't know if they, they changed like the, before they were square shaped. Now they're like rectangle. This one is the no drama llama with the little mini pom-poms. And then the last one is no problema. No problema. Let me try to get it with, no. there you go, with the, least amount of glare possible no drama and then hello llama there you go so there's those three they're available that is glass not plexiglass so please be careful with that if you do buy that for littles now let's go on the way of food i found from uh baduco the chocolate chips mini panettone mini panettone and as you guys know, um, Mr. P sent me a mini Panettone as one of my gifts in my the Dollar Tree gift exchange. If you haven't seen it, I'll put it in my card right here so you can check it out and check him out. Let him know I sent you over. 
So I picked up this one. And then I also picked up, because again, on rare occasions, and this is really, really good. This is the Harry and David Ground Coffee Vanilla Cream Brulee. It's good. Highly recommend two thumbs up on this one. Okay. And Mr. P had sent me the Jim Beam Coffee. I don't remember which flavor, but that one I highly recommend too, if you're able to find it. I never found it in my towns or out of town. Again, I don't go that often. I'm not saying that we didn't get them. I'm just saying I never found them. Next up, we're going to go to craft supplies. I picked up this black and white buffalo check little mini signs. One is like rectangle. Well, they're both kind of rectangular shaped, but there's the two different like um, scroll pattern designs. One's kind of like round and one's kind of square or rectangle. I love the black and white buffalo check of them. Very farmhouse. You can get out the Cricut and do something. You can chalkboard it. You can get stickers and decorate. I says you can do whatever you like because it's yours, right? Then from Crafters Square, they had these chalkboard crop it stickers. These are five inch by 12 and a fourth inch. 12 and 12.4 inch. And you get two of them in here. So they're just little, the little chalkboard crop it stickers. You can run this probably maybe through your Cricut, maybe. I don't know. Don't quote me. Don't quote me. So there's that. Um, then I picked up not one, but two of the rolls of parchment paper. It's 20 square feet. Um, these are great. I use these anytime that I put bacon in the oven. I don't cook with a, I don't cook the bacon with aluminum foil. I cook it with parchment paper. If I'm doing dinner rolls, if I'm doing anything basically baking that consists of baking or heating up things, I do on parchment paper instead of aluminum foil because... Read up on aluminum foil. It's not a good thing, ladies and gentlemen. So I do parchment paper. I have been looking for months and months for the parchment paper, like, pop-up sheets. Can't find them anywhere. Let's go back with home decor. I found this one that says love lives here. And I found this one that says home sweet home. So the home sweet home is in uh, black with the natural insert and then the little greenery and then the love lives here is in like a white faux wooden and the lettering is in black so those two are available if you're interested and then if you saw the title of this video i found new weapons new weapons better better stronger builder builder better stronger something i don't know the words but i'm going to show you and this is so me also probably overthinking everything probably probably i have a habit of that i overthink way too much but look at the thickness on this this is actually thicker thicker you heard me right thicker than what they normally sell usually it's about that thick look at that one is it long wise no you're gonna have to get a little bit closer get a little bit closer okay but this right here right there swing as hard as you can with all your might and go aim for right here aim for right right here you're going to do major damage it's going to give you plenty of time to run call 911 run to a neighbor get in a car and drive away it's going to give you time to be safe okay this new weapon for a dollar 25 you all laugh but this might save your life one day i'm telling you and the other one that i picked up is life is better with friends life is better with friends now there is four in total I found three others, and I could not remember if one of the four was, I mean, the one, I could not remember if one of the three that I picked up was this one, because it didn't seem familiar to me, but I know for a fact that I had not picked up Life is Better with Friends, so I picked up these two, but it, you'll see in a future Dollar Tree haul um, the others that are out right now. Look at how thick. 
do not poo poo on the Dollar Tree for weapons, but also home decor. Okay, have a decorative decor decorating the hallway, decorating the room, decorating the den, living room. But if you need it for a weapon, it's there for you all. Might save your life. And you might come back and thank me later. That's true. It's true. Next up, I picked up toys. I don't always pick up toys at the Dollar Tree, but there's a reason why I picked up these. And I thought, well, since I'm not getting them for the toys, I will get all three that's available so that I can share with you what's out there in case you're interested in the toy aspect of it or the faux jewelry of it all. But I'm getting these... I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that they are like the slap bracelets that will work to wrap around open gift wrapping paper. But this is what it is. It's the Pop Charm bracelets and activity. So with each one of these, you get the little gems and you can design it and decorate it yourself. And they had the Disney Junior Mini. They had the My Little Pony, My Little Pony. And then they had this new thing called Gabby's Dollhouse. I personally have never heard of Gabby's Dollhouse. It's from DreamWorks. Gabby's Dollhouse. I don't know. So I picked them up specifically for the slap bracelet of it all to wrap my gift wrapping paper without tearing up my gift wrapping paper. And I don't know if these are even going to work. Because I they're all taped on the top. And I did not want to open them. You know what I mean? So fingers crossed they work for what I want them to work for. Next up, they have these Disney Dorables, Disney Dorables Series 4 blind bags. I picked up three of them. I thought it would be fun for us to open them together. I don't even know what they are. What does it say? Behind every door is a bigger surprise. Wait, behind every door, a bigger surprise is in store. Series 4. 62 to collect. So let's open them. Let's see what we got. Okay. There is no peephole on the back. You know, sometimes you'll get like a little open peephole. There's no peephole for you to cheat sheet in the back or anything. And let's just get it open and see what we got. Oh no. It really is just one small little thing. Ridiculous. Okay. So, oh, but I actually got one from Tangled, and Tangled's my favorite. I got Pascal from Tangled. Tangled is my favorite Disney movie. It's one of the only ones I will watch at this point. So let me tell you which ones you can, you can actually get from. Mickey and Friends, The Little Mermaid, Tangled, The Lion King, and Frozen. Oh, shoot, there's more. Cinderella, Finding Nemo, Aladdin, Toy Story, Lilo and Stitch, and Beauty and the Beast. You can collect all of these. Oh my gosh, they had a lot of them too. I only picked up three. There, I want several of these. Like I definitely would want all of Tangled. I'd want the Little Mermaid for my oldest daughter. I definitely would love the Toy Story one because I personally love Forky. I would definitely want Cinderella for my middle daughter wildfire loves cinderella <gasps> there's too many how can i order like the whole thing ebay here i come oh i don't know what this is hold on it's some kind of bird looking thing give me a second oh this is from the little mermaid it's scuttle <sighs> so cute it's scuttle from the little mermaid so now i have one from The Little Mermaid, one from Tangled. And then the last one. I might go and get some more of these. These are so stinking cute. I only saw them at one of my Dollar Trees in my area. Oh, I didn't get any repeats. This is, hold on. This is from Toy Store Story Ducky. I think that's what it says, Ducky. So I got three different ones. Hold on. I got three different ones. Oh, he won't sit. Oh, there he is. Those are the three that I got. Tangled, 
Little Mermaid, and then whatever that one was, Toy Story. Oh, they're so stinking cute. Yeah, I'm going to go get more of those. Those are cute. And then you just mark them off on your little cheat sheet. And that is it, you all. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the whole kaboot kit and caboodles. Can't believe I broke my little clip. Which just goes to show you that it's not it's not made very well. Oh, the sun's coming out. Did you see that? We've been so dreary and dreary, dreary, dreary and gloomy, but the sun just came out. I'm going to go ahead and close. I love each and every one of you. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for all the love and support that you show me and our channel. With that being said, could you, would you hit that thumbs up because it lets me and YouTube know you like these kinds of videos. Also, if you're not already a family member, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button down below and join the family because it is free, 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 free. Everybody likes to get something for free. There's also a bell that you can click next to that so that you get notifications as to when I upload a new video. You all don't miss out on any of the fun. And for now, goodbye from Texas.